Hello and welcome back to another episode in the Let's Play world. Um, so guys, I messed up, okay? I, um, I am no audio expert and I tried my best to sit down and learn. I sat down, I watched tons of videos on my microphone, tons of videos on my, my editing software, tons of videos on my recording software to learn. And yeah, tinkered with my mic, got it to the point where I thought I was happy with it. Sat down, recorded the intro, and yeah, I was happy. Um, so I continue to record, right? About 25 minutes into the video, almost done. I sit down, I listen to it all again, and I'm not happy with it. <laughs> uh, it sounded kind of echoey and very bassy. And yeah, I'm not going to upload that video, sadly. Uh, so here we are. I'm going to show you what I got up to between between episodes, I guess. A uh, bit of a tour to start out. Hopefully you guys don't mind, sorry about that. Uh, so I talked about wanting to have a wall at the base, like some kind of fence or a wall or something to keep the mobs out. And I went and did that now. If we run over here, you can see in the background, we've got our little uh, brick wall. I think it looks really cool, I like it, nice and simple. But yeah, there's bricks uh, between some cherry logs and then we got a, a redstone lamp with a daylight sensor on top, and we got some little gates scattered around as well. Uh, it goes all the way around, and there's about five gates to let me leave. Um, I didn't add any kind of grass path to these gates, um, except the the one that I'm considering the main one, right? So we go up here, and oh, I have a never portal too. I'll, I'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, yeah, we go up here, and yeah, we got the path that extends down to this one. This is the a uh, front. I'm considering the front of the village. Sorry if I sound weird too. It's kind of early right now. I'm recording this insanely early in the morning. Um, I got some stuff to do and I still want to play Minecraft and record. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got that all the way around. When it gets nighttime, the lamps will all turn on and make it all nice and bright. Uh, it's still kind of dark on the inside of the village. There is still spawn spots. Uh, it's not mob proof entirely. I need to work on that. But that is a big step in the right direction. There's some rabbits hanging out on top of my house up there. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it though, I think it turned out good. So like I said, the never. I needed to go to the never to get uh, glowstone to make my redstone lamps and quartz to make my daylight sensors. So I braved the never, not for too long. You didn't miss too much, I promise. Uh, but yeah, I built it right here. I got these trapdoors on the back, which stopped me from coming out the back, because I kind of like this view. Like when I leave the portal, it's only a little thing, but kind of like that we we have this view when we leave. Uh, so if we go through, we didn't get a terrible spawn. We didn't get the best spawn either. Uh, we gotta be careful, because I'm not wearing any gold armor right now. Uh, hopefully nothing comes and attacks me. But yeah, we spawn in a crimson forest, and... Is it crimson forest? Crimson biome? Oh, we spawn right here. There is a, a cliff right there, which is kind of dangerous. But if we go off this way, it's nice and safe. If we go off that way, it's nice and safe. Run around, just getting some quartz, getting some glowstone, and then I left. Nothing too fancy. Didn't get into any trouble. I did make a gold pair of boots so that the piggos didn't attack me. If I go into my starter house here, um, I put it away in this box. This is my first from my first never adventure, some gold boots. Uh, this is my first pink sheep I found here. <laughs> Don't ask what happened to it, it's fine. Uh, it's very much still out there and alive. Uh, yes, yeah, so we did that, we did the wall, we did the never. Didn't take too long, it was like 10 minutes of the video, maybe. Uh, and then I went and made sure to add some paths go into some different things, like uh, the sugar cane here, just a little path that broke off to it. And if I go up this way, follow the path around. I continued the path off this way to this sugarcane and to this little farm here. Just added some extra paths that I missed in between building stuff here. Same going off this way and yeah, like I said, we got one going to the main gate there. Getting a bit of a tour today, we're running around a lot. Also kind of sad, but I went and I composted a bunch of my pink petals. There's still a lot in here, but like all of these other slots were filled up with pink petals. And uh, yeah, I needed to compost some of them. I hated doing it. 
But how many is that? That's five, ten, nineteen stacks of pink petals. And I haven't touched the bone meal yet. Let's have a look and see how much we got uh, in here really quick. Oh, we got two stacks. Really? From... I was not expecting to see that much in there. Was there something else I put in here? I don't know. That's a lot of bone meal. I also made sure to run around the edge of the fence and add some more cherry trees down because it was starting to look kind of thin and I didn't want to like totally destroy the cherry grove. Uh, so I run around and made sure that there was plenty of trees uh, planted down around this thing and yeah, I think it looks... I think it looks really good. I like the wall. I don't know. Uh, like I said, still need to work on lights in the middle. But anyway, you can see I got 61 levels. So the second part of the video, I run back to my my zombie spawner that we made in the last episode. We built the stone giant. Um, if I walk 200 blocks this way, there is a big stone giant that I built in the edge of the mountain. And yeah, I spent a lot of time at this thing, uh, so before I go down there, I had a comment from one of you guys telling me that I built my- or a couple of you guys telling me I built my spawner slightly wrong. Um, so how I did it was, this is the hopper, right? I could go down there and show you, but things are a lot different down there. I'll show you in a sec. Uh, so this was the hopper the zombie would stand on. I thought the distance from the spawner uh, and the place where the, the zombie stood need, needed to be six blocks, right? So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and spawner is right there. Um, however, I was wrong, and the catch tray for the zombies were like here, or something, like the water was there. Uh, the water needed to be where the hopper is, the hopper needed to be further down, to make it so that the zombies got out of range of the spawner quicker and made more zombies spawn. Uh, so I did change that. Oh, that happened again? There's not really a block there, what the heck? Uh, let's get rid of it. Yes, yeah, so I fixed that. I made it so the zombies now drop down six blocks and then there's the catch tray and then they drop down an additional three blocks to go uh, to the, the kill chamber. But things inside here have changed a lot more than just that, okay? So I cleared out the village that was next to the zombie spawner and I brought them down here, right? <laughs> we've got iron golems now. We've got a whole operation going. Like, we got these, this guy ready to die as well. We got a nitwit. I'm so sorry. Nitwit. Um, but yeah, we got villagers around the side. We've got loads of books coming in. This is like a big change I know this was the big thing that um, It's kind of I kind of hate that I've not got it all recorded because I wanted to add as much of it as I could to the vid to the to the series You know didn't want to skip out too much but uh, yeah, I got librarians here that sell protection and Bane of Afropods and curse of vanishing even the curses. I've tried to keep the curses a uh, riptide free efficiency five uh, these, so, so this is how I've got it laid out. I was gonna have over here, I was gonna have loads of clerics. Ten clerics, right, on this side. Um, I only have a few of these though. And I didn't find a nether fortress in the nether yet. So I wasn't too worried about it, but I got four of these down that I found from village, villages. And uh, yeah, we got some clerics. Uh, sad thing is though, I can't get the trades lower than, than this using the, the zombies, right? So the way this works is that I'm getting really distracted, hang on. <laughs> We've got 10, 10 clerics on this side. I was gonna do librarians on this side, eight of them. And these ones all sell books, right? Every single one of them has a book trade. The uh, the bookshelves here. All of them have bookshelves, all, all eight on this side. Uh, and then it was gonna be 10 there, 10 there. All of those 20 that I just pointed out are selling books. Like enchanted books, not the the bookshelf trade to start out. Um, so yeah, that's how it was gonna work, okay? Ten clerics, ten bookshelf guys, ten just generic uh, librarians that sell books I want. Um, and then the way it works is because we got a zombie spawner up there. If I go over and I kill these guys, um, I believe every time I kill one of the zombie villagers in there, is there a chance that uh, the emerald cost will drop or is it like definite that it'll drop I'm not sure but basically killing the zombie villagers there make it so my trades are a heck of a lot cheaper uh, you can see we're getting bookshelves for one emerald 
Um, it doesn't lower them entirely though. Like I was hoping to get Rotten Flesh for one, like one Rotten Flesh for one Emerald, but it's not going below 22. I got it down to 22 earlier and it's back up to 23 now. I guess I don't know what the deal is there. I'm not sure if, um, if we're gonna need to use golden apples and zombify these guys. Oh, and storage for this, if you wanna see it, is a double chest right there. Nothing too crazy, it's full up right now. Really need to sort this out. Um, but yeah, nothing nothing too fancy going on there. Uh, so, I believe I've got every book except maybe Lure now. Um, so, wanting to have 10 villagers on that side and 10 on that side that were librarians that trade books um, wasn't really necessary. Uh, so I might use these other slots for this XP here. It flies everywhere killing these zombies, I swear. Um, yeah, so we might use these other slots for something else. Or maybe some more clerics or something. But uh, yeah, we got protection for Bane of Ephropods, Curse of Vanishing, Riptide Efficiency. Uh, over here, I managed to get some extra on the book guys too. So we got books, uh, bookshelf, sorry, we got thorns, thorn, thorns free. Books, blast protection for Silk Touch. Uh, Lutin power, this guy's a, a lazy one, just selling books. Jeez, nothing fancy going on there. Uh, we go around here, and we got punch one. Some of them like punch one, I know you can get punch two, right? But it's really not a big deal, because I'm not going to be using a lot of this anyway, so I'll just trade like two of these. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. How often am I going to need punch? <laughs> uh, we got projectile protection on this guy with books, and Palin two. Again, I think you can get more than Palin two. But how often am I gonna need that? I'm not too worried about it. Um, Luck of the Sea one again, not a very good trade for Luck of the Sea, but how often am I gonna need that? I got another efficiency five with quick charge, travel fall in, fortune, loyalty, flame. Um, yeah, just got pretty much, I'm gonna scroll across here, I'm breaking. Pretty much everything I'm going to need, unless I'm missing something and I'm not remembering. Um, I should be good. And I got a ton of books in here. Uh, I got a ton of books in here. Mendin and... Oh, I got another Mendin one over here too. Uh, I got Mendin, Silk Touch 1, Silk Touch 1. <laughs> this guy sells two Silk Touch. What the heck? Oh, yeah, but I got another Mendin one over here so I can keep the one at my village. Um, yeah, just tons and tons of books. So, I guess... Oh, and we got Iron Golem spawn in as well. I am gonna farm these guys. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna let them roam. So, I wanna go, and I got 61 levels. So, we're gonna go and enchant our uh, armor before we try to add books to them. I'm just gonna throw some, some re regular old enchants on these, see what we get. And then we'll run back over here and add everything that we're missing. All right, so for now, I want to get uh, protection on everything. I do, at some point, want to have a set of of um, fire protection, a set of blast protection, a set of proje projectile protection, and then just regular protection, right? Uh, but for now, I just want to aim for... Let's take all my armor off. Hopefully nothing sneaks up on me here. <laughs> we should be fine. Um, yeah, for now, I just want to try and get protection on everything. So we got protection free. Um, I will share we got on break in on that. I'll have to add a protection for book. I uh, don't want fire protection. Don't want fire protection. And oh, we got protection on that one. Just protection. Okay, that wasn't worth it. Uh, protection. Thorns too. We are getting really unlucky here. And fire protection. Uh, let's just re-roll that. Let's throw it in the grindstone. There we go. We got 51 levels anyway, and we got those villagers. This time, come on, come on. Protection four, okay, that's that's fine. You know what, that's fine. That will save me a book. Um, how many levels do I got? I got 42, I'm gonna try. Uh, so this one's fine, that'll save us a book. This one's fine, that will save us a book. Uh, this one is not, and this one is not. That will not save us a book, that will not save us a book. Uh, so let's try and do those again. Get some more lapis here. And we'll throw that in there. We're gonna get unbreaking free. That will save us a book. Okay, that's fine. I will take it. And this one, nope. Gonna strip that off. Whoops, not my flint and steel. Strip that off and try again. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that will save us some. Okay, so we don't have to use a 
Featherfall in book and we don't have to use a Depth Strider book. Nice. Okay. Right. Uh, let's go and go back to the village area and we'll add everything we're missing on all of our stuff here. My... Oh, you know, should I grab a hoe? We should probably grab a hoe and try to enchant one of those. Go over here, throw it in, and unbreaking free. Silk touch efficiency four. Okay, that's good. I will take it. Oh uh, yeah, so we'll go back to the new trading hall, which isn't decorated yet, I know. Um, I want to do some more things to it before we decorate it a little bit. Uh, let's get my armor back on for a minute. Run back over there, grab a bunch of books that we're missing, and add them to our things. Alright, so I think we are just about done enchanting. Everything is as good as I can get it for now with the villagers that we have at the minute. Uh, so I don't have uh, sharpness 5 to add on my sword, sadly, but that's fine. I got sharpness uh, 4 on there anyway. I don't have infinity in here either. I think there was something else that I don't have too. But yeah, everything is pretty kitted out. I got my helmet. Full of enchants, I got all of the all of the enchants on my chest plate. Obviously, there's some things like the um the ancient city's swift sneak. I'm not gonna be able to get on my leggings just yet. And soul speed on my boots. Um I will also have to like I feel like that's gonna be too expensive now. So when I do get soul speed, we're gonna have to redo our boots. But yeah, everything is ready to go, all repaired up. I am kitted out. <laughs> Um, so there is a lot more I want to do in here. I want to get some more villagers. I want to make it an iron farm. I need to sort out storage. I need to decorate. There is a lot to do in here. Um, but not today. We're going to leave that for today. And we're going to leave the stone giant to head off this way. So I know we just talked about building an iron farm soon, but I also found a iron vein uh, a while ago now. And I didn't dig it all out. I dug out a little bit. Got enough iron for what I needed. And then I left the rest until I had fortune, which I've got right now. And I was gonna go back and, and dig out the rest of it and see how much iron we'd get. And I'm really excited to run back over there and uh, just get a ton of it. Uh, so there's a hole over here. If I go far enough into it, we will find my trail of cherry logs. Uh, so we drop down here. Uh, we go around and uh, down this way. I think I just went the wrong way. We gotta go this way. And we will eventually find a, tra a trail of cherry wood that I marked out. Whoops. Uh, starting right here. So we follow this trail and we will end up at the at the uh, the iron vein. So we drop down here. And it's not too far. There's the cherry trail continuing. It will eventually lead to the iron vein. I'm gonna run down to it and spend a little bit of time it's really nice having Featherfall in now too, I could just like drop for ages. Just over here, this is the vein. It doesn't look like much, but yeah, here is the iron vein. So I barely dug any of it out. Um, oh, there's a ore block right there, there's some iron down here. Yeah, there's still loads I gotta get, so I'm gonna just hang around, see, see what we can do, see what kind of damage we can do to this vein. Oh, there's diamonds right here too, give me that. Just one, that's fine. Did we just get one out of fortune too? We did. I'm quite literally that doing a little bit of mining off camera meme at the minute. I have so much iron. Gonna turn them all into iron blocks. And yeah, we've got two stacks and 28 raw iron. That is, that is nuts. So much of it. Like I said, we're gonna have an iron farm, so I don't... I didn't need to do that, uh, but... <laughs> uh, there is still so much to... Like, I I think we're maybe halfway through this thing. There's loads more iron. That just collapsed. Loads more iron left to get here. Um, I'm gonna have to remember that this is still not cleared out yet, but I'm happy with that. Jeez, I'm gonna go back home and get this smelt in.
So next on the to-do list is I want to work on this path a little bit. So I added some extra paths going around the place like I showed you earlier. Um, but I want to add some more blocks to the path, uh, not just have it be grass path. So I've got some coarse dirt, I've got some brick slabs, and I've got some mud brick slabs. I've also got some lanterns so we can hide some light in. I don't want to tear up any of the grass path, but we're going to go around. And maybe right here. We'll take out two blocks, add in a lantern, and put in a brick. And we'll go down here, and maybe we take out, like, this one. And we'll go down two blocks. Throw in a lantern, throw in a mud brick slab, just to save on resources. I'm using slabs here. Um, so we're gonna do that throughout the area. Maybe one... Okay, right here, we'll do a mud brick. Well, I didn't add a light under that one. Uh, there we go. And a mud brick. Something like that, so all the way around. This, that, that's not gonna do a whole lot, right? Um, so I wanna grab some coarse dirt too, and this is gonna be the majority of the new blocks we're adding. There's gonna be coarse dirt. Uh, so again, I'm not gonna take out any of the grass path, but we're gonna take out some of the dirt and replace it with coarse here and there, all the way around. Um, just a small little change, just a few extra blocks scattered into it. I think we'll do a bunch. Alright, and we are done. Man, I love this place so much. It feels so cozy with the wall in the background and the lights turn on at nighttime with the, the lanterns, the lamps, sorry. We've got the cozy little path, all of the particles falling off the tree. There's bees in in hives everywhere too. Um, I love it. I think it's turning out great. Love this area so, so much. Uh, let me know if you guys think we should add anything to it. Kind of want to do like a well. Uh, in here maybe, and maybe decorate the portal as well, it's just sat there right now. Still lots to do. Um, let me know if you have any ideas, but anyway, it is just about time to wrap up with a comment question of the day. Uh, this one is from XP. It says, I am suing for image infringement. You bring it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.